everyone, my name is Katrina and this is Chris and we manage the outdoor and sports categories here at eBags. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly fit your new backpack. In order to sing along with us, you're going to need your pack, of course, and 10 to 15 pounds worth of stuff to put in there and either a mirror or a front. I always make sure my straps are all loosened up a bit before I start the process. You're going to want to go through and loosen them up so everything um, can sit evenly when you're making your adjustments. Quick anatomy of the straps we're going to be adjusting. Here's your hip belt, your shoulder straps, your load lifters, and your load stabilizers. Also, your sternum strap. Your goal when fitting your pack is going to be to have 80% to 90% of the load resting on your hips, which is going to ease the stress of the pack on your back and allow for the weight to transfer down to the stronger muscles of your legs. It also keeps your center of gravity low, which helps when you're trying to balance yourself on the trip. Now start strapping in. You're going to buckle your hip belt. Try to make sure you keep it pretty much in the center and tighten it up. Make sure it's fitting comfortably around your hips. The belt should hit an inch to two inches above the top of your hip bone. Pull your shoulder straps down until they're comfortably wrapped around your shoulders. Your pack should be touching your back now, and most of the weight will already be held by your hips at this point. Now you have your first chance to check for any problems with the fit of your pack. If the weight feels heavy on your shoulders, you're going to want to try to readjust the position of your hip belt. Just pop it back up and then re-cinch. If you have concerns that your pack may not be the right size, please refer to the torso fitting video on ebags.com. If the weight distribution feels good, um, snug the load lifters to pull more weight off your shoulders. This is another chance to check for proper fit. If your load lifters have caused a gap to form between your shoulders and your shoulder straps, then they're going to be too tight. Don't expect all of the weight to go to your hips. We're only expecting about 80 to 90% of the weight to go to your hips. The rest will still be on your shoulders. So I'm gonna loosen these back up a little bit make sure I can get rid of that gap so we have everything sitting perfectly. Now buckle your sternum strap and snug it up. This will pull the shoulder straps together, relieving pressure from the straps hitting your underarm and taking pressure towards the center of your chest. Snug up your waist belt load stabilizers, AKA your anti-sway straps. And they do just that, keep your pack more stable. Your final tweak is to loosen your shoulder straps a bit. You'll feel your pack release just a little more pressure from your shoulders and down into your lower back. This is more of a personal preference and has a lot to do with the way you walk and getting the pack to move with you as much or as little as you want. All right, that's it. You've successfully fitted your pack. Thanks for watching and have a great time on your next trip.